Hi there, this is Ruben from Dutch Round 1. Thanks again for coming by. Thanks for watching another episode. As always, I appreciate your time and I appreciate your support. Today we continue with the new series, Improve Your Vocabulary, 10 words at a time. But before we do that, if you like it, remember to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you want more vocabulary exercises and other stuff, or let me know in the comments um, how useful these exercises are for you. But without much further ado, let's go straight for our vocabulary. All right, so basically today we will do the parts of the face. Uh, however, if you want more vocabulary exercises or vocabulary lists, click on the following link and you'll be uh, directed to the playlist, my vocabulary playlist of Dutch Round 1, uh, the channel. All right, but let's start with het hoofd. Het hoofd, that would be the head. As said before, if you learn words in Dutch, always good to learn the article with it, hut and the. As you've started studying Dutch, you might find that knowing the difference between these two is quite difficult as the rules are not very clear. We go to the next one, hut gezicht. Hut gezicht, that would be the face, right? Hut gezicht, the face. We go to the next one. The next one is hut oog. Hut oog, that would be the eye. The eye is het oog. We continue. Het oor. Het oor, that would be the ear, right? Het oor, the ear. Oog, the eye. Het oor is the ear. Very close, but different, right? Oog is your eye. Oor, that would be your ear. Then we continue. De neus. De neus, that would be the nose, right? De neus, close to English, the nose. Right, we continue. De mond, de mond, that would be the mouth. De mond is the mouth. Don't confuse it with German because mond, that would be the moon. However, de mond uh, in Dutch, that would be the mouth. We go to the next one, de ken, de ken, close to English, it's basically the chin, de ken, de chin. We continue to the next one and this one is exactly the same as in English, you just pronounce it a little bit different. The lip, that would be the lip, right? The lip, the lip. We continue and then we go to the wang, the wang, so uh, the ng sound uh, in Dutch is just like in English, wing, thing, sing and so on. So the wang, that would be the cheek, the wang is the cheek. Right, we shall continue with the last one, and the last one is de tand, de tand, that would be the tooth, right? Okay, so these were the 10 words uh, for today. I hope you find them useful, and I want to thank you again for watching. Remember to give the like if you like this content, subscribe to the channel if you want more uh, of these kind of videos, and let me know in the comments if these vocabulary exercises are useful for you or not. I want to wish you a great rest of the day, and stay tuned for the next episode of Dutch Round 1. Ciao!